afternoon. Everybody just left. Um, Want to do a little rundown. We haven't had a lot of time, a lot of races where you guys have been able to come out, check out the car. We want to kind of hit on some of the things that we're doing um, that are Reese Brothers race cars uh, specific uh, that we basically do on all of our builds. Um, first things, we, uh, we're we using an adjustable front strut cup. Uh, we use this to uh, adjust ride height. Um, you know, for different track conditions, things like that. Um, this is an uh, engine. I know everybody asks a lot of uh, questions about the engine setup. It's a rear Morrison 4.6 bore space small block Chevrolet. So it is a small block Chevrolet, it's just a larger bore space. Uh, it's 480 cubic inches, it's nothing very exotic. It's not 550 or anything special like that, but it is a, it's a nice combination. Uh, rear Morrison uh, built this engine for uh, Rick Thornton at Fast Forward Innovations. Um, we started running it uh, just to help Rick uh, develop um, kind of the program, make it fast. It was always a pretty good piece. It goes together well. It, they've kind of uh, adapted the Hemi front uh, engine setup, so it runs a Hemi style uh, fuel pump drive, uh, things like that. Things make it a little bit easier to work on in front of the engine. Symmetrical port, intake and exhaust. Uh, it's a 10 degree dart uh, casting. I think that our rear made everything inside it their own, but I believe uh, the dart must have uh, cut it for them. Um, we run a CDI coil on plug ignition. Um, this is new to, to this car. It's, uh, when everyone made the change to coil on plug, we kind of uh, made the change with everyone else. Got away from the mag. Uh, by running a coil on plug, it kind of saves on belt life. <clears throat> Inside the car, we have uh, we do some uh, lightweight options for these cars. We scallop the, all the steel pieces, just takes all the excess weight. Uh, also, uh, on the door, um, all the door provisions are scalloped, uh, titanium window frames. When building a small block car, you know, this car was uh, specific built for a small block. And um, so we tried to uh, build it as light as possible without jeopardizing any strength. Uh, again, all components, titanium uh, fuel pedal, steering column. Um, we ran the uh, tie drive lockup. It's uh, lighter than the Bruno. Um, cons uh, I think it's um, about the same as the quick drive, but a lot of different converter drives. We chose lockup with a tie drive. Uh, we run a five-speed Liberty transmission, magnesium case, um, titanium uh, steering column, titanium containment tube with uh, ultra carbon uh, back section. We all do all that for uh, for weight. We uh, changed to the Pro One seatbelt harnesses. It's a new company. Uh, I would I would uh, strongly consider these. They do a lot of nice things. They uh, scallop or uh, kind of neck down the strap where they go over your Hans device. It makes it a little more comfortable in the car. It doesn't pull on your neck as much. Uh, also, they're about 10 ounces uh, lighter than the, the Stroud or comparable deal. Um, in the back, uh, we run a modular alpha wheel. It's, uh, it's again, for weight. Um, it's uh, lighter than the standard weld. It's a billet piece and uh, Pretty good design. Um, one more thing, we uh, we do some things also. Uh, uh, we sell these on our Reese Brothers race car shop. They're uh, key tags, Reese Brothers race cars with El Diablo. These are for our fire safety deals. We just kind of made those to kind of make it our own. Um, again, uh, handles, all the chute handles, everything are carbon. Disconnect carbon handles. Really try to pay attention with weight. Um, fuel plates in the rear. It's all ultra carbon. Uh, titanium chute mounts. Uh, titanium wing struts. Um, we have one more other thing. It's uh, you can get under here. So work light. We uh. John Holmeyer at Holmeyer 
fabrication and wiring he uh wired the car for us and makes it makes it a little bit easier to work on at the racetrack uh, again it's the run on mincer uh four-way custom uh, shock setup uh, we got some more stuff coming on that here soon but we run titanium four link brackets uh titanium and roll bar links titanium wishbone um, again for weight uh, we run the Stroud Air Boss uh, chute, so Kevlar uh, lanyards. Again, another lightweight option. Um, we've made some changes uh, post um, Florida. Uh, we we started the car off in Florida with uh, pretty much steel components. We have a steel wishbone here. We changed to uh, to a tie wishbone. Um, tie wishbone's about one and a half pounds lighter. Um, it's about fifteen to eighteen hundred dollars by the time you get it all installed. Uh, Four-link brackets we changed. Um, I have some of those over here. We changed from a steel steel four-link bracket. Uh, this is our uh, RJ bracket. Uh, they make these. They're available to uh, to everyone, but we uh, have them installed on the on the rear end straight from uh, Strange. Uh, we, by changing this to the titanium brakes, about thirty two hundred dollars, but it saves about seven pounds. So that was the biggest savings that we had. But uh, coming into uh, to Ducks Race, you know, we had we had knocked about thirty pounds off the car. Uh, we again advanced our uh, shock program uh, thanks to mark mincer at mincer motorsports um, he works with us very close on all of our shock program on, on all customer cars um, we um, we've been working with him now going on two years he did all the shocks for uh, el diablo 1.0 and then again for el diablo 2.0 um, again, we've got some, some stuff coming next video or so uh, on our shock program. Uh, we we'll, won't let that out now, but be looking for that to be, uh, to be coming out. All right, now that the stay-at-home order is, uh, has been released here in Georgia, uh, from a look at Facebook, it looks like there's some races that are actually going to happen. Uh, Woostock, they've, uh, they've decided they're going to have the race for sure, 100%. Um, we're going to try to start making um, arrangements to uh, to be there. You know, part of uh, getting ready for the race is, you know, we have to go over the car, and get it ready. It's been sitting for a little while, so we'll take the fuel system uh, loose, clean everything out, blow everything out, make sure there's no issues with that. Post Woodstock, uh, Donald's come up with a race. It's uh, Loco Ocho or the Crazy Eight. Um, we're going to. Uh, we're going to be making that race also. We're going to kind of use Woostock as a testing bed for that. We have made some um, engine changes since uh, Donald's race. We hope to uh, to have some more uh, power. Um, we did really well at uh, Donald's race, but um, as you can see in the final, you know, we're kind of lacking a little bit in the horsepower department. Um, and so uh, Brad at Rear Morrison and, uh, and Rick Thornton, uh, the owner of the engine, he's uh, they've kind of made the changes. Rick's really uh, making a push with this small block program uh, to make it competitive, and uh, you know I applaud all of his efforts. He uh, he gives me a, a good piece to race with, and and uh, along with Brad, Brad really keeps a close eye on all the problems that arise during qualifying and racing uh, with the engine uh, tune-up related. Um, I know always I. have Put more timing in it. Uh, there's always a, um, a give back. You know, it's, well, I think that <clears throat> I think that we went a 58 with a zero at, at uh, Ducks Race, and and I think with the changes, we're gonna we're gonna really try to uh, go a 56, uh, 55 and a half, 56. We we think we can pick it up early. Um, it's gonna help us out. But make sure. Uh, all you guys like and share our YouTube channel. Uh, again, I'm going to get better at making these videos, and hopefully, uh, with some feedback, you know, we can have some more uh, uh, topic-related things that we uh, 
you know, make videos of, help um, all the questions you guys have at home um, really better understand what we're doing and the changes we're making and what we're looking, you know, to get back out of the changes. Pull the front end off the car today, really just to make sure the motor's still there. And uh, it's not tore up. The best way to put these things up, every, seems like every time we put them up, they, uh, they're broke. But luckily this time, it's not broke. Um, the blanket, it held in there. I think the front end kind of uh, kept it on there. I ain't figured out how Stevie's running racing with it on there yet. I think it's going to be some belt cleaner tissues. Um, but still there. 